if you start talking to a lot of these, like you guys, and a lot of wealthy men and men in that 1% and up, because we know it's levels, uh, you know, they're not partnering with those women. And if they are, and some of them are, right? Because I hear that all the time. Well, he dates girls that wait tables and do this. There's a why there. <laughs> OK, and I'm not judging because, again, that's a man who said I went to law school. I went and got my MBA. I did these things so I could earn seven hundred thousand, one point two million, three million a year. So I can be an exclusive full control. And she's going to go on vacation. Where the fuck I tell her we go on a vacation. So we hear this rhetoric all the time on these podcasts, this idea that a lot of men that are rich will go for women that are lower on the earning level so that they can have control. And I'm not going to lie. This is a thing that does happen. Some men would rather date or marry a woman that makes a lot less money. Sometimes this is because of ego. Some men do not want their woman to feel like competition to them. And thus they get very intimidated when their woman is a high earner like they are. And sometimes if they're even higher earner, it can really hurt their ego. But some men have a more valid reason. Some richer men that go for the lower earning women do so because they want peace. I'm not saying that women that make money don't bring peace. Some high earning women are actually in competition with men. And so this is what a lot of men don't like. So ladies, there's nothing wrong with being a high earner. Sometimes it's just the attitude that comes with it. What do y'all think in the comments? Let me know. And don't forget to follow my Elevated Minds podcast.